Good morning, it is sunny for a second day in a row, which is nearly unheard of, so I am braving the weather and going out in a romper. This might be a mistake, but we will find out once we get to Brighton, which we are going to drive to today. And I'm really excited because I've never been before. Um, I've always wanted to go, just to go to the beach and to go to the pier and just to say I've been to Brighton. So I'm really excited and I hope today is as lovely as it looks like this morning. We're just now wandering up and down the lane in Brighton. experience thing quite happy because it means that I've completed two months of the uh, work experience I'm just getting the last couple of things putting a tie on and I'm gonna get in the car go down do this last day and then it's the weekend and I get to enjoy the summer basically and Hannah's here soon so I can't wait for that as well okay so we spent the day in Brighton uh, we went mainly to the shopping areas which were the lanes and we were aiming to walk towards the northern lane but we got sidetracked with a sweet shop so that didn't happen but it was really nice just to wander around the little shops uh, there were quite a few boutique places selling jewellery and things like that that we weren't really interested in we didn't actually find any of the clothes shops if there are any according to the website there is but um, we're going to try again on Sunday but I did stumble upon two awesome places. The first one was Chocky Wocky Duda, which is this awesome chocolate shop, chocolatier, and they made all of these really cool and different kind of chocolate. So as you saw in the clips just before, they were these big ginormous cakes with all these chocolate unicorns or weird elephants and stuff like that. But they also had like the chocolate skulls that looked awesome and I know some people who would die to have that as a wedding cake. Because it was so cool I went and got two presents, one for Leon and one for my friend Sarah just because I thought they would like it so much. Um, so I got them a little chocolate dinosaur. I think they are so cute and it's look it's all chocolate and you can reuse the moulds as another check chocolate mold and then we went to a sweet shop because my dad wanted some English sweets to take home to people in the office so <laughs> my dad went crazy he got pretty much the most English sweets you could get Brighton Rock um, love hearts um, shoelaces and then he also Shams. just for a laugh get um, some gobstoppers um, which no one will ever eat. We have, my sister's over there, we have, my sister and I, have gone through and finished a gobstopper before. It was about this big. My mum bought it so she wouldn't talk in the car on long journeys. It worked. We both managed to lick a hole through the middle. So you had the, the gobstopper and it would kind of go in and in and in and there would be a tiny hole on either side of the gobstopper. That felt like an accomplishment. My tongue, I would, it would start to bleed at times. That's how dedicated I was to that gobstopper. Yeah. And my sister finished it. I really enjoyed going into Chucky Wocky Duda, but unfortunately I didn't get to go into the cafe, which looked really awesome. The lighting wasn't so good for filming, or it wasn't so good for filming with this camera because it's a cheap camera, but it 
was so awesome. Unfortunately, we didn't get down to the Brighton Pier or the beach or anything that I actually wanted to do, but my mum has promised that I can go on Sunday. Fingers crossed. But overall, it was a good day. It was lovely and sunny. As soon as we walked into the lanes, I felt I was in a different country. I literally felt like I was back in Slovenia or in Ljubljana or somewhere in Italy. It just felt I was not in England. But I did not enjoy how many people there were. There were so many people. And we went really early on a weekday. Yes, it's the summer holidays, but there were still lots and lots of people there. I mean, who works anymore? No one works. I am done with this work experience, so I had a, quite a good day, I did actually have some work to do and I just sort of did the work and got on and then I, it got really quiet and for that time I had literally nothing to do. But then I realised I probably needed to sign a load of things to say that I'm handing back like the computer and stuff like that, so that's what I went to do and that took an awful long time and it took way longer than I thought I'd need and so I did that left maybe 15 minutes after I normally leave but that's fine because I'm finished and I have the whole rest of the summer and all that stuff to do basically whatever I want but there's one thing I have to do before I can do whatever I want and that is finish tidying my bedroom new camera right it's cool it's a lot smaller than the old one. It's so much easier to vlog with the GoPro. Why don't we all do this? Especially with that new Hero, Hero 4 session. There you are. All right. Lie down, you uh, Oh, that's what I just stood in, right next to his head. Oh, God. I hate standing in drool. We are off for dinner this lovely evening. I really want to show you the B&B we're in, but we've kind of trashed the room by dumping all our clothes everywhere. It's called the Great Harwood Farm and it's run by a New Zealand lady who has come to live in England. She has all these rooms that are just, oh, they're just so nice and they have a swimming pool out back and they have these two adorable cats called Bubble and Squeak that I just can't stop petting even though I'm supposed to be training for Madagascar not to touch animals just in case they have rabies. It's not working so well so far. It's gotten pretty late. It's not like really, really late, but it's like past my normal sleeping time. Tomorrow is Friday and it's the weekend and I can't wait to get out and go and do some normal human things like go out and see people and all that sort of thing because working doesn't allow you to do that. I am going to go to bed, catch up on some sleep, hopefully not wake up at bloody seven o'clock and yeah, I can't wait. I'm just going to go to bed. Right, good night guys. See you tomorrow. There's an Iron Man one, there's a Hulk one, the Batman one, there's like a Bahrain theme.